So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to uh, do a find and replace across multiple files. And uh, you can do it through multiple files within the same directory, or if you want to do it across the, all of the subdirectories um, and sub-subdirectories and so forth, uh, uh, you'll be able to as well. So basically what you would need is you would need first Notepad++, uh, which is completely free. So you can actually go to Google, type in Notepad++, uh, Notepad++ and then go to the first page here and click on download and there's multiple options but just go ahead and, and click on the first option here uh, basically this one says take this one if you have no idea which one you should take so <laughs> go ahead and take this one uh, download it uh, install it and then you should be able to uh, open it which looks something like this so what we're going to do uh, in this uh, demonstration is um, uh, I have a uh, a website here and if I right click select all right click and go to properties there's over 8,000 files so if I want to do a find and replace across all of those files it'll be quite tedious to do so um, and if it happens to be in every single file uh, it also in addition to being tedious it'd be insane <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna open the um, right click edit with notepad plus plus and then scroll down um, and I'm going to maybe change the copyright uh, across all of the different uh, pages on this HTML website. So scroll down. Okay, here we go. So basically, let's say I want to change this instead of 2014 copyright, I want to say copyright 2014. So what I can do is uh, I selected that copy and now go to uh, edit or search find and then I can paste that here and then uh, and then what I want to do since I want to just swap that around is I can then cut this and here we go so now I want what this basically does is it will find this in this document and replace it with this in this document um, and if I click on replace um, then it should replace that but this is only for this document. So how do you do that for all of the other fo uh, files uh, within that, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that folder? So the way you would do is go to Find in Files, and then now, um, basically, I have the Find field and the Replace with field. So for filters, just put um, you can leave it alone or put um, asterisk dot asterisk, and basically that says that that doesn't matter what the file name is and doesn't matter what the file extension is. Now, if you want to restrict it to only HTML files, then you would do that. Or likewise, with text files, you would do that. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that alone. And you can check if you want to uh, do the replace in all of the subfolders or if you just want to do it in the main folder. Uh, I'm not going to check that just because to go through all 8,000 uh, yeah, files and whatnot. It's probably gonna make this video last very long, so I'm gonna avoid doing that. For the search mode, you can leave it as normal or extended. I just choose extended because I actually use some of these options here. Um, and normally, I leave it as match case and match whole word only. Um, just, um, I mean, it really doesn't you know, matter for most cases, but that's the options that I have set. So now, what you want to do with the directory is go to the directory you want to do the massive find and place with, right click, copy, and paste, which is the same directory so uh, that I had before. So now if I do a replace in files, it should go through all the files there. And, and just to make sure that it actually does work, if I go to, let's say, um, the our services page right now, and I scroll down, see how right now it says 2014 copyright. So if this works, which you know it will, <laughs> uh, then it'll replace that once I open that file again. So go ahead and click on replace in files. Okay. And now uh, basically it's done already. Replace files. 26 occurrences replaced. Great. So now I can uh, if I go back to that file and open it, and I scroll all the way down. Yep, copyright 2014. So 
So basically, that's how you would do a massive find replace uh, using Notepad++, which is really powerful, and you don't have to deal with command line uh, using the grep feature, which is uh, similar to uh, a lot of the capabilities of this, um, but Linux, and it's command line, so it's a lot more work sometimes than it really needs to be, and also it's a lot more technical. But anyways, so hopefully you found this uh, video helpful, and if you have, um, make sure you... Uh, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube ch uh, channel, and go to my site, yanhuang.me. That's, um, or I'm sorry, yanshanghuang.com. Change the URL. And on my website, uh, I always have really uh, interesting, cool posts that ranges anywhere from business to creative to just cool stuff that I think. Um, um, you know, most people would be interested in and make sure you like me on uh on facebook uh, follow me on twitter instagram uh google plus and uh and uh and if you want to subscribe to my newsletter as well um so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing <music>